all right so here's another uh, long pending video uh, has been due on me for a very long time i made the first two parts in the first part we learned how to find the distance between two points in the second part we learned how to find out um, we learned how to calculate gradient okay and we learned some cases related to gradient in this part however we're going to learn how to find out the equation of a straight line okay so first let's write down the general formula for finding out the equation of a straight line so general formula is y equals to mx plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept okay let's write that down m is the gradient or slope whatever you wish to call it and c is the y intercept or it's the point at which the line cuts the y-axis graphically this is what it looks like so suppose you have your y-axis here's your x-axis let's label them here's x here's y and this is suppose this is a straight line so this right here is c so if you're given a line and you can see what the y-intercept is then we can simply replace it with that otherwise there's a way to calculate that which we we'll learned in uh in a couple of minutes okay so let's understand this with the help of an example so there are multiple cases through which you may be uh, asked to figure out the equation of a straight line so one of them is that suppose you're given two points through which the line is passing so suppose you're given a is minus 1 comma 5 and let's say b is 3 and let's say 9 yeah so suppose you want to find out the line that passes the equation of line that passes through a and b so step one is that you need to find out what the gradient of line a b is going to be so the way to do that is through this formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so here's x1 here's y1 here's x2 and here's y2 so we have 9 minus 5 over 3 minus minus 4 so 9 sorry 3 minus minus 1 so 9 minus 5 is 4 3 minus minus 1 is also 4 so 4 upon 4 equals to 1 so that means so far in y equals to mx plus c we have figured out the value of m which is 1 so our equation so far looks like y equals to x plus c where the coefficient of x is 1 because that's what the gradient is. So you can write 1 if you want, makes no difference. Now to find c, what you can do is you can plug in any one point that you like. Okay, you can plug in a or you can plug in b. So suppose I plug in a. So we have minus 1, comma 5. So in place of y, I'll plug, plug in 5. And in place of x, I'll plug in minus 1. So 1 times minus 1 plus c. Let's work this out. 5 equals to minus 1 plus c. 5 plus 1 is 6, and that's what the value of C is. I can show you the step. I think I shouldn't have skipped that. So 5 plus 1 equals to C. That means the value of C is equals to. So let's do another example. And in this case, instead of two points, let's say we are given the gradient, which is, let's say, minus 3 over 4. And we're given a point through which the line is passing, which, let's say, is minus 2, comma, 5. Just random values, okay? So the first thing that we can figure out with the help of the gradient is that we know that the general form is y equals to mx plus c. So I can replace m with minus 3 over 4. I don't have to go through the pain of plugging the coordinates in a formula because I know the gradient straight away is minus 3 over 4. So now to find the value of c, we're going to do exactly what we did earlier. We're going to plug in a point, which is p. That's the only point that we know. So in place of y, we plug in 5. In place of x, we plug in minus 2 plus c. So what do we get? Let's see. So we get 5 equals to 3 times 2 minus 3 times minus 2. In fact, is positive 6. 6 over 4 plus c. Now, do not be tempted to cross multiply right now. You can't because you need to take out the LCM first. So what we're going to do instead is that we're going to do 5 minus 6 over 4, which if you simplify, if you think of it, is simply 3 over 2, right? 2 2s are, 2 3s are. So now we can take the LCM and find out. So 1 times 2 times 2. So 10 minus 3, which is equal to 7 over 2. So now we know that C is equal to 7 over 2. Now let's replace it. The gradient is minus 3 over 4. X plus 7 over 2. You can leave it like this if you want. Or you can take out the LCM and cross multiply. It's up to you. Now the third possibility is that you are given... Well, this happens very rarely that you're given the gradient and you're given the y-intercept. 
Okay, but like I said, this happens very rarely because you're not so lucky all the time. In this case, well, you can simply close your eyes and plug in the value of m and the value of c and that's it. So y equals to minus 3x plus 4 and that's about it. But like I said, this rarely happens. Ideally, you should have a good grip on the first example and the second. The first where you're given two points and you need to find out the equation passing through the two points. And the second where you're given the gradient and the point through which the line is passing. And one common error that I should point out is that at this point where I took out the, uh, where I made see the subject and then calculated it, a lot of students tend to cross multiply, which is why they get the wrong answer. So just be careful about that. So yeah, that's, that's about it for this video. And let me know what else you guys want to see. There are uh, other couple pending videos also, which I will be making soon, inshallah. So yeah, take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.